Hello. Today we want to share with you the technique which is called Muneczki Jujinaga. So Jujinaga is this famous, famous cross that you put on the arms of the uke when, when you bring him down. Uh, and actually it's a very interesting technique because in, from many attacks you can do it in a very similar way as the Kotegashi. So you can have almost the same entry as Kotegashi with a little variation and then you move on into the Jujinaga. So this is the variant that we will actually share with you today. It's uh, the Kotegashi opening after the attack ski and, and then uh, changing into a Jujinaga and going into Jujinaga. Let's have a look at the technique. As the UK is coming in with the attack, we will move to the side and turn around and open the position, just like for the Kotegashi. Okay, so we want to position ourselves on the side of the UK. And as we take over the hand for the Jujinake, we are coming back. And the hands will, I will explain in a moment. As we are coming back, I will start turning towards the UK and then enter with the other foot towards the center, center line of, of the UK. So actually, I want to. Uh, make a movement, give energy to one, towards the center line, entering here. So directing a little bit between, uh, between the legs of the uke, between the feet of the uke. And as I cut the position as the Jujinage goes down, I will turn around, follow the uke down. And then for the immobilization, I, I hold on to the arms. I will show it in a moment. And then I turn the hips to finish the immobilization. To Okay, so let's have a look at the technique, how we do it. Okay, so as Sandra is attacking me, I will do exactly the same opening as for Kotegashi. So normally I could go with the Kotegashi here. But this time, instead of doing the Kotegashi, after the opening I will take over the wrist here with this hand, just getting the head from this side, from the other side, grabbing the wrist. And as I start turning back towards the uke, I will move my arm towards the face of the uke. So the uke, in order to protect his face, so Sandra will connect here as a measure of protection of, of her face, okay? And when I turn towards her, I bring this arm out and this arm up. So I grab, actually, I, I get the elbow here. I get hold of the elbow. Then I can take both wrists, okay? and. Finally, I will enter with my other hip, with my other leg, towards the center line, bringing the uke down. And then we have the immobilization. So I still I bring this arm out, the one which is straight. The one which is here comes towards the face, towards the shoulder. And I turn slightly my hips. And then for the uke as well, because I'm holding both arms, if the uke wants to tap the tatami when he, the pin starts to work, uh, the best way is to tap with the foot, okay? Because you cannot tap with the hands here. So let's have a look just at the change of hands once again, maybe a bit closer. So as we're coming in here, maybe even a bit closer, I will take over the wrist here cut towards the face, which automatically brings the arm of the uke up and I can connect. Then I will bring this arm out. And as I'm coming out, I will grab the wrist as well. And this one goes above the elbow here and takes the elbow in. And here you can see that Sandra is already going down on the knee, but even if not, I can, as I'm entering here, 
I want to go towards the center line, so that I take the center line, and anyway, the OK will go down here. And I follow until this position, I place myself aside OK at the end. There is also a version where you can do a high fall. We'll not do it with Sandra today. Uh, we've done it with Durward in one of the other techniques before, in, in one of the other Jujinagas before we explained it. So we'll link the video, you can see the high fall version uh, in the other video. Well, thanks for watching and see you soon again.